The Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Municipal Affairs. I think many of us in this House have had the experience of having great conversations with constituents on the doorstep at election time, only to learn that those residents are permanent residents and cannot vote. These constituents have a stake in our communities and in our province, and we have the power to give permanent residents the right to vote in municipal elections. That would be a great step in the right direction. Permanent residents are important members of our communities, and they should have the same right to vote for their municipal representatives as any other Nova Scotian. Does the minister support extending the right to vote in municipal elections to, to permanent residents? The Honourable Minister of Municipal Affairs. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank the member for the question and the conversations that we've had uh, during estimates and uh, throughout uh, this session. Um, I've also had this conversation with some elected representatives uh, in communities across the province. Um, this is something that uh, I've taken under advisement. Uh, I'm doing my own research on it. Uh, we don't uh, have a path forward at this point, but uh, I have uh, offered to the member to keep uh, our conversations going to determine what a path forward is going to be. The Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Mr. Speaker, allowing permanent residents to vote at the municipal level would be a wonderful signal that we truly value their voice in our communities. We know Nova Scotia needs to encourage more immigrants to stay for our province to thrive. Now is the time to prioritize this. Halifax Regional Municipality has been asking for this change since 2014. There is no reason to wait. Will the minister commit to working across party lines to make this change before the end of the year? The Honourable Minister of Municipal Affairs. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and I have had that conversation as well with, with uh, HRM in regards to uh, uh, permanent residents voting, but also having that broader discussion about uh, residents being able to run for public office. So there's a lot of work that has to be done in this file. We work with 50 municipal units across the province. We've had the conversation with one municipal unit at this point, which is HRM. Uh, and again, I appreciate the comments, uh, Mr. Speaker, that I've had with my colleague uh, and, her, and her advocacy for this issue, and I can, we'll continue to have those conversations with her and our municipal partners. Thank you. Thank you.